everybody. This is Diane with Crafting with Fury. Hope each and every one of you are safe and healthy no matter where you are. I am here with a project share and this is for my sister. She is getting married at the end of this month. Congratulations, sweetie. I'm so excited for you. Um, but as a crafter, you all know, that with such occasions come up, our mind starts just absolutely turning and what we can create, what we can help do, and we enjoy crafting and creating things for people. So what I decided to do was make these little totes for her guests. And this is the die that I used. It's from Queen A Craft. Guys, I love this die. It was so easy to put together. It was just, you know, cut it out, glue it together, and boom, I'm done. And I made over 50 of these, like, within just a few hours. But, of course, you know, I had to take a snack break and stuff like that. But um, this is the die that I used, and I am on their design team, and I will leave this link down below and my coupon code that if you use that... I would truly appreciate it, but perfect, guys, perfect for weddings, for birthdays, just to give a little gift for somebody, and it's so versatile, any occasion. Stocking stuffers, which, you know, Christmas is not real close, but it'll be here before we know it, um, but I did do black and white, and um, I just wanted it to be classy, you know, elegant. And so I just did black and white, and this is what they look like. Just easy, just put together. And then I just used this, this little trim as a closure. And it just, the little um, flap just goes right underneath it. You could use a button, you could use Velcro, anything to close this. And what I thought I would do is I put some Hershey Kisses in there. That way she can give a bunch of kisses to all of the people that come to enjoy her special day with her. So I did make this. And she did ask me to make her guest book. And I've only made one other guest book. And so hers and my style is a little different. Um, so it was hard to figure out what I wanted to do for her guest book. I wanted it to be something that she would love and, and cherish. So what I did was, this is what I come up with, guys. This is her guest book. And her favorite color is orange. And I had to incorporate that in here somehow, which was hard. But I started going through my stash and I found just a bunch of random black and white papers and I wanted it to match these. So this is what I come up with. I put our guests. I did a black filigree heart in the back. And then I did this love in orange. It was missing something, couldn't figure it out. And then I thought, uh, diamond dust fixes everything. Look at that. I love the way it turned out. And I put some bling here. And I just put diamond dust all over it. It just made it pop. So this is what the paper looked like before. Beautiful paper. And then this is the cover. I love it, love it, love it. I did use my cinch to bind it. Not use my cinch in years. So tickled that I was able to use it. And when you open it up, this is the inside. I typed this page out and just printed it out. My printer did not do a really, really good job on that. But so this is going to be her guest book. I'm really tickled how it turned out. And this is the back. And what I did was, was I, I used chipboard and I just covered it with the paper. That way it would be sturdy for her. 
So this is what I made for my sister's wedding and I just wanted to share it with you because I was really tickled with how everything turned out. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate it and be warm and safe out there. God bless each and every one of you. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.